Y'all have to stop to all that. Y'all have to stop to all that. No, I'm a man, man. I can wipe my tears. Man. I don't need no handkerchief, man. I'm a man, man. I, uh, this is, this is, this is very, uh, Very, very humbling to see y'all come out here and to just fellowship with your boy another night. I'm telling you, it is, I am just overwhelmed and just kind of speechless and, and just thankful that y'all would want to come out here and spend some time with me. I'm so glad to be back in this area. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. Let's go. Yeah. 
The reason why I, uh, the reason why I call this album Hello Fear is because since I was a kid, I've always struggled. I've always uh, had a problem with being afraid. And not to bore you, a lot of you know my story. I was, was adopted when I was four by a 64-year-old widow. She didn't have any kids. My first husband died of cancer. No, because that'll make me cry. <laughs> Got that soft moving music. When I was four. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stop that dog. <laughs> um, and and I, you know, some of y'all go through this. Some of y'all know grandmama or a great aunt, great 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 grandmother that 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 you raise your child and it was a teenage mom and dad, and they every now and then will stop by and see the child, and it's kind of more like a big sister type of big, but you know, it, you, you know what I'm saying? It ain't mama, and I think that sometimes that's worse. Well, you know, sometimes in other communities, when a, when a kid is adopted, they don't know they were mom and daddy. Well, knowing my real mama and staying there, you know, once or twice every six to eight months, and her leaving and me not going with her, that messed me up. For some people, it don't mess them up that bad. It messed me up. It made me feel like I wasn't good enough. It made me feel very rejected. My real daddy, he did one thing for me my whole life. He got me a haircut when I was eight, when his, when his father died. He picked me up and they took me to the funeral. Thanks, Dad. And um, <laughs> so, those things really, 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 really messed me up, you know, um, you know, and, and being a church boy coming up, you know, I didn't have no swag, you know, the girls didn't really holler at your boy, you know, I, I was, uh, you know, you know, I've been this height since I was seven. <laughs> You may need to play that music. You may need to play that, music. <laughs> that was supposed to be funny. That one. <laughs> and you know, you, you know, uh, do you guys know that the lady that adopted me and my real mama, any family members, do you know that nobody ever, ever told me that they liked my music? I never had anybody ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I'm grateful for y'all, but you know, like I know, when I leave y'all, that ain't the voice that really matters. When, when you don't tell your kids that they can do something, you know, so, so I struggled with that all my life. I struggled with all my life. While I was doing these records, and y'all listen to these records, I had real abandonment issues. I had some acceptance problems. I had a lot of issues. And I would, and, and then what I would do, if we just want to keep it real, is, is I would church them. You know, I'm blessed and highly favored. You know, all the devil is a liar. <laughs> Money come in, and, you know, you know, all the little things. Knock on your door. You know, worrying about your money, worrying about your kids, worrying about the economy, worrying about the war, tsunami, earthquakes. And what I'm saying to you is the same thing that Paul told Timothy. He said, God did not give us, watch this, a spirit of fear. Right? Now watch it. Here's what you need to say. Here's the good news. First of all, it's a spirit and it's not from God. That's good news because, because, that's, because if God is sovereign, that means that everything is under his control and his authority. So that spirit, if it's not from God, that means that greater is he that's living in you is greater than the one that's in the world. That means that you no longer have to be a prisoner to fear. This album is saying right now that fear may knock on our door, but we do not have to answer.
There's a song on the album called Hello Fear. And if you haven't heard it, but I'd like to just play a bit of it. I got a mic here, I got a mic here, I got a mic here. I don't get to come to this uh, area much. This is like, this is my third time in this beautiful church. I told your pastor, I think he's starting something because y'all may have a brother get a house up here because y'all are so 